This week's hometown hero, Russ Tapley, had an unconventional path. He started with the Marines and ended with the Army. But he made a career out of 27 years of it, mentoring young minds and preparing them to serve their country. I was not a good student. Uh, I think out of 600 and... 35, I was 634. Well, that might have been part of Russ Tapley's motivation for joining the military in 1968. He also knew the draft was looming. And I decided to join um, the Marine Corps because I figured since I was going to Vietnam, the repetition that they had the best, the best training. Still a California resident at the time, Tapley headed over to Vietnam with the 1st Battalion, 26th Marines. Run patrols. Um, go into villages. Some of it was search and destroyed. Some of it was to um, educate the people, tell them who we were, what we're about, what we were trying to do, um, get rid of the Viet Cong, and um, actually try to give them their, their freedom. After his year in Vietnam, Tapley still had three years left of his commitment. He spent that time in a training battalion, getting other soldiers ready to deploy. This set him up later on for a move to Green Bay and more than two more decades in the service, this time in the Army Reserves. And then I was out for 17 years and I decided to come back into the military because I figured that I had experience of leadership, experience in combat, experience working with people. For 21 years, Tapley worked as a drill sergeant and then in training and development, mentoring enlistees to get them ready for the real deal. It was that fulfillment that kept him going. Taking care of people, show them that, you know, the responsibility and taking care of people. Yeah, that was the main reason. Tapley retired in 2010 as a command sergeant major. He now belongs to the VFW in Bellevue and is involved in the Sovereign Military Order of the Temple of Jerusalem, helping Christians in need throughout the world through places like Paul's Pantry and Golden House in Milwaukee. I feel more of a calling to do this. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel more of a calling to do this, to help and support others, because I have been blessed. And so now I'm trying to reach out and, and teach others and share the blessing. Tapley won't call himself a hero, and he might not remember all of the hundreds of young lives he's shaped over his military career. But he always remembers the impacts actions have on others. Perhaps a letter written to Tapley by his daughter Autumn when she was a child sums it up best. Talking about what I do, my goals, how she sees me interact and things, and what I say, um, she took that heart and wants to emulate that. And of all my possessions, that means the most. And imagine how we affect other people, unbeknowing to us. Isn't that awesome? And we thank you for your service, Russ. And don't forget, if you know someone who you would like to nominate for our Hometown Heroes segment, just send an email to WFRV, hometownheroes at wearegreenbay.com.